Hi Spectrum Noir fans, Jen Cochran here from Jack's Beanstalks and today I have a mixed media canvas for you. We're going to start off here with a stamp from Crafter's Companion called Poppies. It's an individual easy mount stamp from Sheena and I am coloring these poppies with the Spectrum Aqua markers and the colors I'm going to use today in those are orange, amber, and sunset. I'm also going to use moss for the stems. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set a lot of this video to music as I'm working and I'll pop in and out and explain different things um, as we go along. Just want to let you know a lot of this video is in fast motion, um, fast forward, because if I didn't do it that way we would be sitting here forever while I put this canvas together. So I hope you enjoy the video and enjoy the music and I will pop back in soon. Right, I'm back. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab this Sheena uh, Distress Grid stencil. It's a 7x7. Seven seven. It's one of our newer stencils. Um, you can find it at Crafter's Companion. And I just really, really like the, um, the very close detail of this particular stencil. Um, it's not really wide and spread out, so it's very tiny and detailed. And what I'm going to use is an FS1 alcohol marker from Spectrum Noir. Um, and we are going to use the... Uh, the e brush here and I'm just going to pop my marker in and as you can see I just adjusted that chisel tip so that um, the air on the e brush was nice and even coming out and hitting that marker just right and I'm not going to go over the entire stencil with um, the airbrush I'm just going to go in to where it's the white so that it'll preserve that poppy and I won't have um, any stencil marks over it after that, we're going to move here into an encyclopedia page, and I'm going to glue it down um, with a little bit of adhesive here, and it's the uh, Colal adhesive that you can also find at Crafter's Companion. Just going to stick that directly on my canvas, and by the way, my canvas is an 8.5 by 11. The next stencil we're going to use here is uh, the Graphic Equalizer. It's also a 7 by 7 stencil um, from Sheena, and it's also one of her new ones found at Crafter's Companion. This time we're going to airbrush directly with the um, Spectrum Aquas, and you don't see that a whole lot, but the airbrush works, this e-brush works perfect with them. You just pop them in just the same using the same adapter as you do the Spectrum Noir alcohol markers. Um, the coverage is a little bit heavier than the alcohol I'm, I've found, and excuse my hair um, in a couple spots in the video. I do get my head in the way of the camera. Sorry about that, guys. Um, anyway, I'm just going to take a baby wipe here and I'm going to smear the color down into the stencil, pull it away, and it gives a little bit darker um, coverage with that. Next, I'm just taking uh, some acrylic paint in white, and it's a glossy white um, so that, that I have a little bit of shine, and I'm going to just paint it directly over that encyclopedia page that we glued down. Um, and this will take a few minutes to dry. I, I did stop the video, let it dry um, before I moved on uh, to the stamping that we'll do. 
and the stamps that I'm going to be using today are all brand new from Crafters Companion. This one's Walls and Corners. It's the texture set and I really really like these because it's a lot of elements, um, not an actual necessarily stamp that you can color in. Um, but I'm actually going to use this Spectrum Aqua in Sunset and I'm going to color right on my acrylic block and I'm going to um, essentially make ink. I'm going to use water, spray that Spectrum Aqua um, watercolor and I'm going to stamp directly into that um, on that acrylic block with that stamp from that texture set and just use it as stamping ink like you would any other ink. I'm going to load my stamp up there and just stamp um, the whole front of this piece of uh, encyclopedia page. I'm still going in fast forward here um, to get this done, but you want to make sure to really let this dry, especially on top of that acrylic. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to customize my embellishments for this canvas. And I'm using all white uh, flowers. My flowers are from Really Reasonable Ribbon. Um, and most of them are a mulberry flower um, that take on the, the alcohol ink really well. I'm also using white buttons. Using the e-brush again, and I'm just coming in with an OR2. That's a Spectrum Noir OR2. And um, it's just a really nice orange, bright, bright orange that goes great with the um, colored poppies. And I'm just going to go in and spray each individual flower um, just like you airbrush on a stencil or any other piece of paper, your backgrounds for your stamped images. Same, you do the same on these embellishments. Um, I tend to get a little bit closer with the airbrush um, so that that color hits really intensely onto the embellishment. Sometimes that air hits those embellishments and shoots them across your table. Um, so hold on to them because when that ink's wet, it will touch um, and spread ink on your surface. Um, I'm just going to hold on to my buttons here and you will see that I get ink all over my fingers for the rest of the video. Okay, now we're going to use our third stencil from the um, newest Sheena Decorative Stencils collection. And it's called Pop Dotty and it's also a 7x7 stencil. And I'm going to take some washi tape and just stick it directly down on my canvas. And then what I'm going to use is the Dream Weaver Stencils Pearl Scent Embossing Paste. And this has a really, really nice pearly, creamy um, tint to it. Uh, and I'm going to color right over top of it with the Spectrum Aqua markers a little later on in the video. So you'll see that um, it still stays pearly even when um, you add a little color over the top of it. And I'm being very generous with this. I just want to remind you if you are using this embossing paste that directly when you are finished you do want to wash your stencil immediately afterwards and get all of that embossing paste over. This particular paste dries really really fast. You want to get it off of your utensils and your... Alright so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an Embossalicious embossing folder um, from Crafters Companion and this one's Chevron and I'm going to pick up my Sunset um, Spectrum Aqua marker and I am going to use um, the nib to draw right directly onto um, that embossing folder. And I'm really, really getting a nice thick coverage of that watercolor. And I'm going to take my water spray bottle and I'm going to give it a little bit of a spritz. And um, I'm going to take my die cut doily and place my die cut doily directly on top of that chevron. I'm going to flip it over so that it's the face of the doily that's touching it. Close the lid of the embossing folder and I'm going to rub all over the entire doily um, so that it really um, picks up that, that Spectrum Aqua ink. I'm also going to do a smaller doily, same technique, load it up with ink, flip it over, close the lid, and just really rub, rub, rub. Um, after you spray it with water. Be sure you spray it with water because you're going to get um, a more intense color. And you'll see that it's picking it up nicely. Um, when I pull it off of there, you'll see how intense that sunset orange is. I love it. All right, 
So now what I've got here is I've got my little sandwich of doily die cuts um, and my poppy. And what I'm going to do first before we put those down on the canvas um, is I'm going to go in with a larger brush, my water. I took my little uh, acrylic block and I loaded it up with orange um, Spectrum Aqua marker. And I'm just going to go in and watercolor over that pop dotty stenciled area that we ins that we stenciled just a little bit ago with the Dreamweavers um, embossing paste, that pearl embossing paste. And once I get that all loaded up, what I'm going to do is take the Colal glue and stick it down and start making my layers on top of my canvas. While I'm doing this, I'm going to set it to some music and I'll be back. Now I'm taking a quick dry craft glue and I'm gluing in all of uh, my custom colored embellishments that I uh, airbrushed with the e-brush earlier up on in this video. And I'm just taking them and sticking them under uh, all those layers that we created with the craft foam. And it makes perfect little spaces for the stems uh, to be stuck under and held down with that craft glue. Um, and I'm just kind of um, making it pleasing to the eye uh, as to where your your placement is. You kind of got to play with it. Adding my buttons at the bottom. Um, gonna stick some smaller flowers in. Uh, but you can pretty much customize um, all of your embellishments to whatever the pieces that you colored. Even if you're using the Spectrum Aquas, if you have both the set of Aquas and the set of Spectrum Noir alcohol markers, there are similar enough colors um, within the two sets that you can totally customize all of your embellishments. All right, we're just going to finish up here um, and stick a couple more of those tiny little um, rosebuds uh, in between the, the buttons. And then we're going to move on and we're going to come back in with our uh, Sheena Douglas decorative stencils and add a little bit more um, depth and color to that right hand side of the canvas. And so what I am using again is the Sheena Douglas decorative stencil in distressed grid. And I'm just going around and doing little patches of the grid. It, it makes uh, light and dark areas and it's a little bit more pleasing to the eye. I'm using the e-brush and I like to pump my e-brush up clear to the full flow of air um, when I'm airbrushing. I just like that. I I don't have um, a reason why, I just like that amount of air coming out of it. And I'm just going through and adding um, those those little um, crisscrosses all the way around from that stencil. Then I'm going to come back in with my graphic equalizer and add a few more lines. Um, this particular graphic equalizer really allows you, if you're working in small areas, to add really fine little lines. We're going to use Words of Wonder Set 1 and the word believe and I'm just going to use a couple different colors um, of mementos I believe one's tangerine and the other one may be um, a clay maybe 
uh, a clay color. And I'm going to stamp that, that sentiment um, from Crafter's Companion directly onto a scrap piece of my encyclopedia. I'm also going to use copper tape, which you can also get at Crafter's Companion, and it's a self-adhesive, um, and it's real copper. It's it's super, super thin, 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 but it is metal, and I'm going to line this um, word believe and um, make a little bit of a flag sentiment out of it, and we're going to add it. It's, it's wide enough. It's about, oh, three and a half inches close to four inches uh, long, the word believe is, so it's going to make a nice little flag um, across to our canvas. And I'm just going to, after I get this uh, copper tape laid down, just going to use my cutter B scissors there and cut it out. And there you have it. It's all nice and shiny, and that metal gives a really, really nice finish um, to our canvas. going to clean up my mess here and lay my canvas down, and we'll get it stuck down. And I'm just going to use some... Um, foam uh, mounting tape. It's double-sided adhesive. I believe it's from 3M. And I'm just going to stick it to the back. And I'm on, I'm going to create um, a little bit of a wavy. I'm not going to put it down completely straight. I'm going to put gaps in between and have it bump up a little bit in a couple places um, to appear to be kind of waving in the wind a little bit, I guess you'd say. And um, that's going to finish off our canvas. All right, once we get this laid down, um, we're finished. Thank you so much for joining me today here at the Spectrum Noir YouTube channel. Um, I'm really excited uh, that you showed up. Hope you liked my project, and here's our canvas, and here's a little bit of a close-up. Uh, remember to give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.